This is nothing new to me. Nothing new at all. Look at the progression of the kid. These children did not grow up like we did. We were probably the last generation. This kid was grown up to believe he was an equal. Society has ripped the mother from the child, the child from the mother. These kids that we raise nowadays are raised to be individuals. They're not, he's not raised to be someone's child. He was raised to be an individual. And individuals fight for rights. In his mind, he believed he had the right, the right to defend himself. In words, are not enough for you to slap your mother on. So what was he defending himself for? He was defending himself for the right to be. He needed to be. She was not letting him be. She was not letting him to exist in the way he wanted to exist. So since America is teaching kids how to be individuals and independent, not knowing that the person who gave him life itself was sitting right across from him. Based on how he was raised and how he feels, he had no fear and no hesitation in putting this grown up in their place because they are wrong. Was he wrong? 195%. Was he right? Yes, he was right. If he was an adult, and not her child, he could have defended himself in that manner. And then that would have been wrong. It's based on judgment like, man, even though, you know, this woman told you this and told you that, you know, you didn't have no reason putting your hand on her. He could not differentiate from that. So based on how he was raised, he believed he could defend himself regardless of who he was defending himself against. And that is an American problem. It ain't this woman's problem. Because now when somebody his age walks down the street and disagrees with someone older than him, smaller than him, the mentality is in place. I will destroy you by all means necessary to get my point across. Listen here. So think about it. You can blame a lot of people for what you just saw in that video. But the last person you should blame is the child and the mother. It's the video games. The I have to go to work to make sure you can eat attitude. That he has to be at home by himself so many hours a day attitude. The total destruction of family is upon us. The final chapter was about six generations ago. Or three generations, wait a minute. It's 2008 right now. Probably about, what, 2000. For the last eight years, there has been people having kids and no families established. The family unit itself prevents actions like this one. To grow up a part of something presents actions like this one. You can be mad at me for agreeing with the kid. You can be mad at me for agreeing with the adult. And you can be mad with me saying she should have got up and slapped the shit out of him and went no holes barred. But the difference between her and him is this. She knew her level of restraint because she did not want to appear to be one kind of person. And the people backstage probably told that boy to make sure his point was across by all means necessary. Here's one place that she cannot tell you what you can do. We don't know how they had him riled up. He was talking as if he was talking to some woman on the street. Please. Before we quote on the puppet, look at the puppet masters. What show was this? This was uh, 
Dr. Phil. We know what they do behind the scenes on these shows. But apparently he had some pent-up frustration that he thought he can get out by slapping his mama. He was wrong. But the fact that he had pent-up frustration and he's only a child, that shows you the state of our nation. You might think I'm just babbling on because I am very tired and it's hot. Think about why this boy swung on his mama. Think about how come he didn't know that was the right or the wrong thing to do. It was definitely the wrong thing. He didn't know it was the right thing because it wasn't the right thing. He just thought, listen to me. This is how adults get it over with. Adults slap each other, fight each other to make sure they can get their points across. Shut up and listen to me. So demanding of the child. So stupefying you shouldn't even make comments on this. It's worse than a lady taking pictures of her 11 year old daughter talking about she wants to be a model. The ignorance of this child is not just this woman's problem, it's everybody's problem. If you can't understand a video I'm making based on whatever you think about me, understand this. I hadn't seen anybody raise their hand or disrespect their mother until I was like 15 or 16 years old. I'd moved from an all-black situation to a mixed situation. I saw my stepbrothers not have enough goddamn common sense to respect their mother. And I contributed that to their race. I was wrong. There are children running amok of all colors. But this just goes and show you how deep and how hard the quote-unquote white community has been taking this. Where their kids don't have enough respect for their mother, the woman that brought them onto this planet. The difference between this kid and a black kid is at least he had his mother to swing at. Yes, I'm saying that some black kids who act like this have no mother or father. This kid has a parent at least and he's still acting like those kids, those bad ones who don't give a damn. This saddens me to even see a child raise his hand at his mother, let alone connect. But I can't do nothing but show you the overall problem. It's not this kid or his mother, it's society itself. And you have been tubed.